Hello everyone, uh, Keith Marty, superintendent here in Parkway, actually outside uh, Central Middle School where we have new teacher orientation going on. Had the chance to visit with our new teachers and I uh, have to say the excitement, uh, the thrill of another school year for many of them, of course, uh, coming to Parkway, perhaps from other districts or fresh out of college. I can't tell you how excited they are to be in Parkway and how excited we are to uh, have them here. Obviously, uh, a new school year, and especially this one, brings us uh, a new chance to renew what we're all about here in Parkway. And part of it is getting back in person, getting back together, and the opportunity to welcome students back, welcome families back, getting our staff uh, all back together. Uh, we're just very excited about it. And also excited to be able to continue uh, virtual education for those families that have chosen that option as well. I'm now staying outside of McKelvey Primary, which uh, Work was just completed to make this a school that is going to house our uh, garden students in the McCalvey area. Uh, we can maintain early childhood program here. And it's also where our uh, many of our virtual teachers will be teaching from this year in the Parkway Virtual Academy. I'm in the little li new library here at the McCalvey Primary. Uh, what, a, what a wonderful uh, space here in this new, new revised facility. I just want to take a moment uh, with our uh, community and with our staff to just uh, Again, remind everybody that we're starting this school year with the expectations that uh, we're going to mask everyone. Uh, that is simply to make sure we're starting the school year in a healthy and safe manner. In fact, I want to I want to just uh, offer some commitments to you as we start this school year. Uh, number one, um, we really are going to continue as we have since the very beginning of the pandemic to make the health and safety of everyone, our students, our staff, and our guests, to be a top priority. We think that's an important obligation for any district and certainly in Parkway that has been our, our number one priority. We're certainly going to protect in-person uh, learning. You know, last year uh, we really uh, missed the opportunity to be in person and while we're going to offer a virtual academy as well, uh, the in-person learning is something that we vitally want to return to and I know many of you do as well. But to do that, uh, masking will help us to hopefully avoid quarantining, interruptions, cancellations, things that would disrupt not only the instructional program but also the activities that we value, the athletics programs and so many of the other activities that occur outside of the school day. Uh, thirdly, uh, we're gonna maintain quality teaching and learning. Uh, all through this, we've worked very, very hard with our teachers, whether it was uh, learning about virtual learning and hybrid and, and in-person, and we know that it's gonna take a lot of cooperation. Again, we wanna avoid the quarantining and the disruptions that uh, may be caused if we aren't, uh, again, conscious of health and safety. And finally, we're going to monitor the, health, the data and the information coming to us so that we can be flexible and make changes. I, I hope during the school year, uh, we perhaps can ease up in some of the mitigation practices and some of the um, uh, protocols we have in place, including masking at some point. But again, we're going to have to have good data and information to be able to know that uh, that's a good move on our part. And again, we want to be very, very uh, conscious of what's happening around us before we make such a move. I'd like also to just uh, uh, remind us what we have going into the school year. You know, I, I think uh, sometimes it's, it's uh, easy to say what we're missing, but I would just like to remind people uh, about the wonderful quality teaching staff, the staff we have here in Parkway that supports our teaching and learning. Uh, what a wonderful group of people, and we should be so proud of the work they did last year, their preparation for this year, and their ongoing work to make sure that teaching and learning uh, are occurring in such a quality manner and that we do not uh, allow our students not to have the best instruction, the best opportunities here in Parkway. Again, uh, they did a wonderful job last year and that's going to continue. We have each other uh, to lean on, to work with. We encourage uh, open communication, transparency. We as a district will commit to that and we want to make sure that you as parents, uh, you as uh, members of our staff, understand that uh, we're open to ideas, we're open to suggestions, but we're going to again do what's best for our students. I have no doubt as we start school uh, in the 21-22 school year, that we can have a great year. Uh, we can, uh, again, overcome some of the barriers, some of the challenges, but because of who we are in Parkway, the, our commitment, our mission, which always guides us, and the, the people we have, we can have a wonderful school year where the expectation is that we will uh, stay safe and healthy, maintain quality teaching and learning, and take care of one another. Join me in, in uh, celebrating the fact that we're back in person we're back with a quality virtual academy for those that desire that, and we're ready to go for the 21-22 school year. Thank you very much.